So the theme this fall for the Magnolia Journal is rhythm. And like we always do every season, we want to weave in um, that same story throughout um, all the things that we're doing here at Magnolia, whether that be food or what's happening here at the retail shop. You know, this whole year, we can all look back and say, yes, there are so many um, disruptions, I would say, that's happened this year with our natural rhythms, with just daily life. Um, and so we really wanted to take a step back and just look at, you know, what are the things that matter most? What are the things in our lives? What are the rhythms that we need to hold on to? And then what are those rhythms that we really need to kind of let go of so that we can move forward? display team has been working for hours and hours on all of the details that are coming together today and when you step in and see it, um, it it just makes you appreciate just the way that their mind works and just again the rhythm and making um, the displays for the shop like that there was just this kind of methodical approach to it whether that was the dyeing of all the yarns or the weaving of the lanterns I really hope when people step in, they feel that handmade, that kind of love and intention that went behind all of these amazing displays. Yesterday the shop closed and it was just all hands on deck. Everyone came in to really take everything down. It's really a, a quick turnaround time. We basically have a day and a half and we hit a snag right off the bat. The power went out and that was pretty nerve wracking. We didn't know how long that would last. Thankfully it was only an hour but the team handled it like champs. And now it's just kind of this quick take everything down to then build it all back up for this new season. So for the past seven months, we haven't been able to turn the store over with all that's going on. We had to take a step back and just make sure that um, we were doing our part. And I'd say today, we really, we're just excited that we get to transform this space as we step into this new season. It almost feels like a celebration of sorts. And I'm excited as I feel like the shop is coming back to life again. And so it's beautiful to see how everything's coming together. Oh, I love these, yes. I, I like the, the drag. Y'all been working on this all day. If you keep sending me pictures, it looks amazing. So when we were sitting down as a team thinking about rhythm, I kept getting this picture of um, a loom and how rugs are made. And there was something about that rhythm that felt a little bit like the idea of taking all of these colors, all of these different threads and weaving them in to tell this really powerful story. Kind of this idea of um, turning beauty from chaos. And so I asked the team if they could find a loom and somehow deconstruct it and have that coming off the wall. And that's kind of all I said. And then as only the team can do, they can take these random bits and pieces that are in my mind and create something beautiful, something way better than I ever imagined. And that's really what you'll see when you step in. And then carried throughout the store is that same story of um, just the woven fabric and how that rhythm can be disrupted at times. You'll see that with the shades that are hanging, but even in that disruption, there's still beauty to be found. I'm really loving the way all the product is coming together in the store. You know, as we were selecting this stuff months ago, now that I see it all come together, I really wanted to be intentional about darker shades of wood, dried florals that felt, um, again, like that reminder of all the, just the natural rhythms that happen in nature, um, and then a lot of textures and warm colors. So when you step into the store, it really does feel like a nice embrace. It feels like 
fall. You smell my favorite fall candle burning. Um, and it's one of those things, all I'm missing is really just a good cup of coffee and I could just linger there all day.